Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. Um, I've been busy, busy, busy with the new job and um, you know, the grandkids and just life in general. But I'm back with a Dollar Tree haul and it's a big one. So if you haven't gotten anything to eat or drink, get something, put this on pause, go get something to eat or drink and uh, relax and watch this haul. I hope you all had a great Easter. Mine was really nice. Um, I posted a picture of me and the girls in our bunny ears on Facebook. Um, that was a lot of fun. I had the girls for a few hours on Easter day and uh, I got to see my mom and it was just a really nice day and I hope you all had a really nice Easter as well. Um, first thing I want to start with before I get into this haul is I want to tell you um, about this company that I've been dealing with. It's called Julia and they sell jewelry. Julia the jewelry. But anyway, this jewelry comes in this really nice box and um, inside the box you get a little gift bag if you were buying it for someone. You also get a little catalog, and then inside you get this little box with your product inside, which for me was this beautiful ring that I've been wearing. Um, I, it's this ring right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not. I'm gonna take it off to try and show you up close. Oh. I don't know if this is focusing or not, but I love this ring. Um, I had bought it to wear on my thumb um, because I already had rings on this finger, um, but it didn't fit. I didn't, I, it's a size too small, but it's perfect for where I put it. I also got this ring from Julia as well. They sent me this ring to uh, show to you guys and review in the past. I also got um, that flamingo necklace. Their, their stuff is just beautiful. Um, but anyway, they have a Mother's Day sale going on right now. And I'm going to put um, their information in the description box down below. And there's a code for 10% off. And if you buy two items, you get 20% off of both. So that's a great deal. Mother's Day is coming. So, you know, if your mom is a jewelry wearer, you know I am. I got my necklaces, my earrings, my rings. See, I have rings on every finger. Some of these are um, Silpata, but some of them are from Julia. And I absolutely love the company. Um, this new ring that they sent me is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's got like rhinestones here and then rhinestones over here. And it's a little knot. I just love it. Love it, love it. I mean, you guys saw my uh, flamingo necklace that was really beautiful with my name on it so if you're into flamingos and my birthstone um so anyway julia is the company i really highly highly recommend it and um if you're looking for a jewelry gift for someone it's a perfect place they mail it right to you like i said you get the little bag to put it in you get the little case that it comes in, you know, you just put your little Julia box in your Julia bag and you got a nice little gift. I love it. I, I just love this company. And you just put that in there and there you go. You got your little gift. Perfect. So I highly recommend it. Um, and their prices are good. They're fair. It's quality jewelry and, uh, my, my grandmother always said, if you pay cheap, you get cheap. So check them out. The information's in the description box down below. But my grandmother never had a Dollar Tree. So she doesn't know you can pay cheap and get good stuff, right? Because everything's a dollar and you can get some really great stuff at Dollar Tree. This particular haul, somehow the, this bag of stuff got pushed to the back somehow. And I looked at the receipt on this 
and this stuff is a couple of weeks old so sorry but some of you are behind um my stores so maybe these will be in your stores now i just wanted to mention my uh nail polish i went and got my nails mani pedi and i i thought in the bottle that this nail polish was like a deep purple and it is if you look in the light and you shine it just right but it looks black it looks black and i'm you know not a fan so I'm just waiting for it to kind of, you know, grow out a little bit. And then I'm going to put something a little springier on. Um, I, I'm not a, a go to the place and get your nails done all the time. But I said, well, spring is coming. I'll get my nails done, get a nice color put on. And uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm not a fan. So anyway. You know, they, they said, pick a color, pick a color. I said, oh, I brought my own. And, you know, they put it on me. And I'm like, eh. But whatever. It is what it is. So, let's get started. I only have one food item in this uh, haul. And this is recent. I threw this in the, in the bag because it's recent. Um, but most, I don't show you guys a lot of food stuff because a lot of the stuff I get... Um, I buy to eat right away. So, you know, it never makes it by the time I haul the stuff. But I did pick up these and I wanted to show you guys because I thought this was a great deal. Marzetti brand croutons. Croutons. This giant bag of Marzetti croutons I got for a dollar. These are garlic and butter and there's another flavor that I picked up probably in my next haul um, but these are a five ounce bag and they're bursting with baked in flavor add a little wow to your salad but Marzetti brand I you know I buy the Marzetti dips for like parties and stuff don't buy it all the time because it's pretty expensive but when I saw this I said oh my god I gotta get this and these are good until July 27th of 21. So these will be great for summer picnics, you know, toss salads out in the backyard, whatever. When you go somewhere, you bring a toss salad. You can put your $1 Marzetti croutons in there. So I thought that was a great deal. That is my only food item. The rest is all kinds of stuff. All right, let's get started. Um... I'm going to start with like uh, crafting stuff. I picked up this little wooden piece that says home sweet home. It's got a light in it. Let me pull the tab so I can show you what it looks like lit up. And there you go. You could leave it wood color like this if you want. You can paint it. You can stain it. I just thought it was so cute so so cute and that's what it looks like on the side and it's just all plain in the back with the little switch love it love it so i grabbed that let me show it up close to you i love the little heart on the top very very nice i got that and then i i don't know why i bought these because i act like i'm gonna do a craft with these but i saw people doing a craft with these and I said, oh, there's those dice that people do crafts with. So I picked up two packages of these dice. And uh, apparently what people do with them is they stretch a balloon over them. And then they, you know, do something on the balloon. Paint it or put a cricket thing on it or whatever. But I picked them up in anticipation of someday ever having time to do some kind of crafting. That's why I got these. And if I don't end up doing anything with it, the kids will like to, if the kids drag it out of the bag before I get a chance to do anything with it, which is more than likely, um, they'll be fun to play with, you know? Anyway, I got those foam dice. I also found some new tie-dye colors. I found the yellow from the Crafter Square tie-dye paint. They give you the um, rubber bands. What do you get? 
you get the squeeze bottle, two protective gloves, and five rubber bands. So they give you everything you need to do the tie-dye. I picked up yellow and I picked up red this time. So they have a bunch of different colors. They have blue, they have green, they have purple. This particular haul I got red and yellow. Then my stickers, you know I had to go get stickers. I got a bunch of stickers. I'm obsessed with stickers. I picked up another one of these Let's Flamingo iron-on patches, iron-on transfer. I gave one to my sister and I'm gonna do one eventually, hopefully for my flamingo party. Then I found these beautiful stickers. I thought these were really pretty. Up close, I try to show you. The light gets it though, yeah. And they are 35 pieces and these are a blue tone. And then these are a purple and gray tone. You get 21 of these. I don't know if you can see that color but some of them have like a purplish hue to them. Grab those. Then I bought these cute uh, letter stickers. And I bought two packs of those because you, you always ne run out of the letter that you need. So I got two packs to make sure I don't run out. And you get 30 pieces so what do you get? You get the alphabet plus two symbols. I don't see doubles of any letters on here. So you only get one of every letter. So it's a good thing I picked up two. Then I picked up this sticker. It's the, um, it's four pieces and it's really cute. I love the bicycle with the flowers in it. Love that. This would be great for like card making. I picked up these 15 piece flowers. Love these. And these are pop up stickers. If you can see up close there, I'm trying to keep that glare. You know, my lighting is not that good in here. I have a lamp there, I have a light here, I have a light there. But I have to have a light there for the light to shine on me, but then I hold things up and it reflects off the light. I don't know. I can't win. Then I found these, uh, what are these things? Uh, llama stickers. Really cute. Cute, 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 cute. They're like a metallic and they're puffy. So I really liked those a lot and you get 14 pieces. Then I picked up these sunflowers. I may have gotten these before, but I love them. So I got them. And then I got this one just because it said grandma on it. And I just think it's so cute. I'll make myself a card that says grandma on it. You get 13 pieces and this says uh, pop up. I like the little thing with the yarn and the um, thingamajiggies. Uh, what do you call those things? You know, what are they called? Knitting needles. Yep. And then you got the little spool of thread there. And this says off to grandma's. And then it's got cookies, chocolate chip cookies down there. So cute. If I ever scrapbooked they'd be if you're a scrapbooker you know love it i wish i was i wish i was a scrapbooker i wish i had time to do a lot of stuff and i picked up this new washi tape with the koalas i'm gonna open it up for you because it's so hard to see with the reflection there we go any cute He's so stinking cute. Look at the ears. Love him. And I'm not squinting. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Not as much as I used to, but really cute. Really cute, cute, cute. 
I like that a lot. So that's my new washi. Then I picked up two of these peach color bins. I love this design. Love it. The flowers and they got handles on the side and they're pretty sturdy, you know, Dollar Tree sturdy that, you know, the sides don't push in or whatever. Love these. And I did bring my measuring tape. So to measure these, they are 11, 8 by 11. And they are uh, four and a half inches deep. So they're a great size and I love the flat bottom. I love the flat bottom. You know, a lot of the ones have like a curved bottom. I like the flat bottom on these. So I got more of those, my obsession. So I'm going to put my um, <laughs> my uh, sticker obsession into my um, bin obsession over here and uh, move on. <laughs> um, next thing I got was I picked up this little set of drawers and I just thought the print on it was so pretty, so, so pretty. And you can see that the top is plain, okay, right? And the sticker is on the bottom. So you take the sticker off, right? I probably am not gonna be able to do this. Anyway, you take the sticker off, I bought two, and you glue the two pieces that are plain together, right? And then you take your drawers, I can get one out, and flip them around and you got the design all the way around. Isn't that going to be so beautiful? Really, really beautiful. Yep. All you got to do is pull the drawer all the way out. This one drawer doesn't want to come out. Oh, fighting me, are you? Come on. I'm stronger than you. I can win. There we go. See, so now the drawers are the right way. And even if you don't want to glue them together, you still have the flowers on the top and the plane on the bottom. Wow, that's a great idea. I saw another, um, I think it was, I think it was Shy town Girl showed that to me many, many moons ago when I first started watching her. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is, uh, some health and beauty stuff that I found. These are all from the Saratoga Dollar Tree. I went up there for a, um, an appointment with my ear doctor and I was like, oh my God, I got to go to the Saratoga Dollar Tree because that's a big one. They don't have a refrigerated section, which is the only thing really wrong with it, but it's a big one. And I find a lot of, uh, cool finds up there. One of the cool finds I found was this OK Brightening Gemstone Mini Masks with Quartz Extract. And it is made in Korea. And apparently you get these little mini masks that you put like all over your face like that. Like only in the places where you think you need it most. That's the way I see it. You put it on, you wash your face, you put it on, you wait 20 to 30 minutes, take it off, and you look marvelous. So I grabbed two, and I love the little panda up here. How stinking cute is that? With the little panda in the corner. And these are not um, Dollar Tree products. These are an, the OK Life brand oklife.com and they are not tested on animals so i grabbed two of those which i had not seen anywhere before and haven't seen them since i found this garnier skin active aqua boost mix it yourself fresh mix sheet mask freshly mixed by you and it's garnier which is a brand name. What? Oh my gosh. I grabbed one of those because, you know, I don't really love the uh, 
paper sheet masks. And then I got this Glow Boost Garnier Mix It Yourself Mask. Unbelievable Garnier brand name at the Dollar Tree. What? Then I found this L'Oreal, another brand name, L'Oreal Ever Pure Intense Repair Hair Sheet Mask. This is for your hair. What? Hair Sheet Mask Steam Treatment. Five minute hair spa for damaged hair. L'Oreal, guys, L'Oreal. Wow, the reflection's really bad on this one. But I picked up two of these. Give that a try. I think that's great. Five minutes spa. Ooh, 100% free of sulfates. 100% free of harsh salts. L'Oreal, guys. And you want to know what? I found something else, L'Oreal. This, I was so amazed to see. I found this L'Oreal, what is it now? True Match Mineral. It is, um, it's a foundation. And see the top is of the brush and then your foundation is down here. What? L'Oreal brand? And this looks like just my, it looks like my skin tone. They had a bunch of different skin tones. I saw these and I was like, no way, no way. L'Oreal. And it's got the little brush in there. Let me see if I can open one up real quick. You know me. You know me. I'm not too good at this stuff. Ah, see, it's got one of those, um, perforated pull tabs so maybe maybe we can get this open <coughs> open excuse me all right so there it is without the packaging and then hmm Ooh, there's your little brush oh it's very soft on your top and then you turn this and you have your powder inside, or is it powder? <sighs> Swirl brush in si sifter. Tap off excess before application. So then you just put it in there. And you're good to go. True match mineral. What? What, Dollar Tree? Are you kidding me with this stuff? So that is that. I'm not going to open it completely because that's going to take more time. And this is a huge Dollar Tree haul. Okay. Also with the, I found with the um, health and beauty aid stuff, I found this rich moisture skin stress reduction Vanilla Bean and Almond Milk Body Wash from Bolero. Two times concentrate, it says. So I'm hoping it's thick. It feels, feels kind of loose, but we'll see. A soothing and warm blend of skin softening ingredients. You always need body wash, so why not give it a try? Dispense a button-sized drop into your hands. Work into a lather. Smooth over skin, then rinse with water. In case you don't know how to take a shower. There you go. Gives you the instructions. Um, next thing I found was these little travel size Olay. What? Another brand name? Olay Fresh Outlast White Strawberry and Mint fr Frizzy. Um, it's B plus complex body wash and it is three ounces good for traveling on an airplane. If you're going anywhere, Olay, Olay, 
found these, which I snapped up two of those. Because one of these days I'm going to get back to Florida with my friend Connie. And then I found this body lotion by Olay. This is 1.7 ounces. Ultra Moisture Shea Butter Body Lotion. Body Lotion Olay Body Lotion for a dollar. For a dollar. Perfect for traveling. Can't even, can't even put the name brands. Olay, L'Oreal, Garnier. What? Then I found, this was like, I was amazed. I was going through the Saratoga store and I'm like, do to do picking up this, that, this, that, whatever. And I was feeling pretty good. When I got to the health and beauty department, because it's like over in the corner, it's like I start at one part of the store, go all the way through. Then the last corner is the health and beauty stuff. And I found something hard candy. What? Like, it, it's not something, I don't know. I was happy to find it, but it's green eyeliner. Green eyeliner. It's hard candy. And I bet if you had like green eyes, this would really, you know, bring out the green in your eyes. But I picked up two of them. Hard Candy, another brand name, Dollar Tree. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to open one just for the halibut and see what we got going on here. Um, I finally tried the liquid eyeliner that I got from Maybelline, I think it was, that Dollar Tree carried. I tried it today and I am loving it. It stayed on so well, I think I have moved on to liquid eyeliner. So this is what it looks like. And you pop that off. Hoo -hoo. And that, my friends, is what it's going to look like. It's like a green metallic green. That'd be fun if you, you know, during the summertime... I like it. I like it. Thank you, Dollar Tree. I also grabbed um, this Anna lip balm from Frozen for Caroline. Because you know what? All these little girls love Frozen stuff, but they all love Elsa. For whatever reason, Caroline prefers Anna. And I was thrilled when I saw Anna all by herself on the lip balm. She's going to love it. And it is optimistic berry flavor, not flavor. Yeah, flavor. It says best flavor forever. And it's Lip Smacker brand, another brand name, Dollar Tree again. What? Then I bought these extra large eyeglass cleaning cloth. You just get one, I guess. Extra large size for easy cleaning. And I picked that up while I was waiting in line. Because if you haven't noticed, oh, let me get closer, I have new glasses. I actually got two new pair of glasses. I picked up these um, this past Saturday, which I really like. And uh, I picked up another pair of um, transition glasses that I wore. I think I wore them in my last video. I'm not sure. I can't remember whether I did or not, but you know what? I bought, got two new pair of glasses and not one single person except for my sister noticed either pair. I mean, I know they look a lot like the other ones, but are you really paying attention to my face at all that you can't notice I got different glasses on? Especially the transition ones. Like when I go out, when I come into work and my glasses are all dark and then they you know, get light. Nobody noticed. Nobody said, did you get new glasses? Oh, I like your new glasses. Even if they didn't like them. They didn't say, oh, did you get new glasses? Not one single person. Anyway, here's my eyeglass cleaning cloth. It's a nice big one. Ooh, very nice. And it's soft. 
So anyway, I'm going to keep that in my purse to clean my new glasses. My old glasses were so scratched up. I really loved them, but they were so scratched up and it, you know, it was time to get new glasses. My, my doctor said my prescription didn't really change that much, but I needed new glasses. You can't just like replace the, the lenses and glasses. They just don't do that. So I got new ones. So anyway, got that. And then this isn't really health and beauty, but it kind of is because they're cosmetic bags. I found these new cosmetic bags and I'm trying to decide what kind of material this is. I... I can't, let me just show it to you. It's like that, uh, I can't think of what it is, but they had this purple one that says be happy with the zipper on the top. Um, it's like a foamy type, type material. You know, the, all right, let me try to explain this. You know, the Dollar Tree, um, gardening tools they have that little rubber section on there it's kind of that weird feeling stuff that's what this material is i don't know what it's called you guys are all going to tell me in the comment section i'm sure but i picked up this one it says be happy i got this one i love the color of this one hello beautiful and they're just plain on the back this one you're gorgeous I love these colors and I like the script on them. Very nice. And then I got just adorable, just adorable. And these are, they're good size. I really like them a lot. They're uh, seven and three quarters by five and a half. So you could fit quite a bit of stuff in here. I really like these. And you know what, you know what's gonna happen? Right after I get off camera, I'm going to remember what that material is called. Because that's what happens every time. Um, I'll think of something that I can't think of on camera. And as soon as that camera goes off, it pops in my head. Anyway, enough of my nonsense. Um, I found a bunch, obviously, I found a bunch of toy stuff. I always find toy stuff. I found this... Look at this. You, what a nice gift if, you're, if your child has a birthday party to go to. This is amazing. It's Craft City by Karina Garcia, who apparently has a YouTube channel. She ha she's the one that made that slime that I, excuse me, um, showed you in my last haul. This is mini slimes and it's, an, it's like a gift. This thing has got to be, you know, $10, $12 in the store. Customize these ready-to-play slimes. You get 10 mini slimes. YouTube's Queen of Craft, it says right on it. So I got the Queen of Crafts slime for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. What a great gift, you know, even for your grandkids. I mean, I didn't get, um, I only got one because I have this obsession that I hate slime. I bought, I got it for the grandkids for Easter, but it went home with them. I don't like the touch of it. I think it's, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. And I told you that before. All right. Then I found these card games. Matching pairs. Go fish. These are really nice size too. I'm going to open this one just to, to look at the cards because I'm curious what they look like. All right. These are, oh, they're so cute. Go fish. And then you got your pictures. Go fish. Oh, go fish. And they're all fish. Ha, ha, ha. Joke's on me. That's funny that they're all fish. That's funny that they're all fish. <clears throat> so that's cute, 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 cute. I'm gonna get these back in here. Sorry if I'm taking up a bunch of time getting these cards back in here. And then uh, we got um, Crazy Eights. 
I got these to keep at the house for the kids when they come over. We can play games. Crazy Eights. These are by Crown Jewels. Crown Jewels Kids. Ages four, four plus. You get 36 cards. I got the Crazy Eights. I got the Magical Old Maid. That's interesting. So the old maid is what? A unicorn? I don't know. Let's let's find out. Well, the old maid. Remember the old maid when we were kids had the old lady with the white hair on it? Yep, the old maid is a unicorn. Well, and these are cute too. Look at how cute these are. There are all kinds of mermaids. And you could, even if you weren't going to use these for to play cards with, these would make cool um, things to craft with, right? If you weren't looking to play games with these, you could craft with them. So the old maid is a unicorn. All right. All right. If you say so, Dollar Tree and Crown Jewels. And then I got Doggy Doubles, which is um, matching, matching game. So there are four in the series. I don't know that I can hold all four of these up at once. I'm going to try, though. These are the ones that I found. So cute. So for four bucks, you can have a, a day full of fun. You can play Old Maid, you can play Crazy Eight, you can play Matching, you can play Go Fish for $4, right? What a deal. Then I found, um, all right, I bought these before. They're the um, things where you throw, these are usually um, Velcro, uh, but I bought these for Madeline and Jordan for... What was the last holiday before Easter? Valentine's? It might have been Valentine's Day. I bought these for Madeline and Jordan, and they had a ball with them. This ball, it's got little suction cups on it, if you can see. And it really does stick. I thought, you know, they're probably pieces of garbage. They're a dollar, whatever. The kids will play with them for like five seconds, and they'll be trash. We played for hours with this thing for hours and the ball sticks to all kinds of things i was i said to jordan see if it'll stick to the ceiling fan the ceiling fan spinning around he's throwing it up it spins around flips off he liked that he really liked that part a lot but i got a set for caroline for here so we can play here because jordan's and madeline's went home with them so i got those for here when the kids are here then I found, oh, part of this haul, somehow Caroline was with me because she bought this out. She wanted this outfit for her Barbies. I don't recommend the Dollar Tree um, Barbie clothes because they're crap. They rip and they're cheesy and I don't recommend them unless you get actual Barbie brand outfits. Um, cause I bought one for Caroline before and it like was in shreds in like a couple of minutes, but she wanted this one. And I said, you know what, for a buck, if it makes her happy, I'm getting it for her. So I got that. Uh, then I got, I got these guys. I found these cross stitch, cross stitch. Look at this. You get the yarn. Let's see, well, let's see what the content says. Six pieces of yarn. You get um, a plastic needle. Includes cross stitch mat, one plastic needle, six colors of yarn, and one design sheet. And I picked up this design. I picked up this design with the beautiful bright colors i picked up the frog look at the face on the frog he's like Ooh. um yeah love that one and it's got your greens in there 
And then I had to get the unicorn. I had to get the unicorn. And there's, I mean, what a, what a deal. The toys really, I mean, other than the bar, crappy Barbie clothes, you can't like amuse kids for a dollar at all anymore. And it, Dollar Tree is killing it, killing it. So I got those. And then when I bought this, this thing, I found this, which is part of the same girl. I was like, oh my gosh, this is called Soda Slime Pack, slime pack and it's got grape soda and orange soda. Two gooey, ooky, scented slimes. So one is supposed to smell like grape soda and one is supposed to smell like orange soda. I don't know why you want to smell your slime, but... I picked that up if your kids are into slime. It's also by this girl. This girl right there. Karina. Karina the slime queen. Then I couldn't resist these little Thai emojis. Look at them. They're so cute and they're so soft. And they only had three... Like, I didn't really like the crying one, but, you know, they're soft and they're cute. I wish they had better emojis. And they had this goofy guy that kind of looks like me. Yep, got the glasses and the teeth. Yep, really cute. And they're by Ty, so they're way more than a dollar anywhere else. And then I got the mad purple, whatever he is, devil. Urgh. Really cute. Caroline will love this because it's purple. She's obsessed with purple. I took her to the store the other day, the dollar, uh, Big Lots. And uh, they had 25% off their toys. I went up there to get something. I don't even remember what it was. So I took her over to the toy section and I said, 25% off the toys, I'll, we'll look around. She sees this purple plastic thing. I want that, I want that. I said, do you even know what this is? And she looks at me. I go, it's Duplo blocks, it's blocks. Do you want blocks? I said, the only reason you want this is because it's purple. No, you're not getting that. So I ended up getting her a baby doll. And then I got Mad uh, Madeline, Evelyn, a little baby doll too. Um, it's actually right over here. Hold on one second. Uh, this is the baby doll I picked up for Madeline. So cute. Why do I keep saying Madeline? Evelyn for Evelyn. And apparently it, it takes batteries. I don't know what it does because the batteries are worn out and it doesn't do whatever it's supposed to do. But how cute is that? I paid like, I don't know, $5 or $7 or something. It was originally $10, I think, but so cute. So cute. And I got um, Caroline, her baby doll, and a little bag with, you know, all the doll assortment things in it. Anyway, anyway, back to the Dollar Tree haul. Um, I also found these cutie patootie. They are called cutie. Cutie curls. And they're little um, hanging, hangy things, you know, keychains. And I found the pink haired one. They had a bunch of colors. They have a blonde one. Blondie got her little hair all messed up here. I have to fix her. There's a blonde one. There is an redhead or orange. I thought I would give that one to Madeline. And there's a brown haired one that I thought I would give to Caroline. And then the other ones I'll just, you know, split up. And then there's a green haired one. They're just so stinking cute. Can you stand them? I'm trying to show you all of them at once, but it's a little hard. There we go. There's five different hair colors so cute and they're like a stuffed little doll and you can move their arms if you wanted to you know play with them 
so cute. I had to get them. Had to get them. And I got all the colors that they had. All right. And then I found these by the register. Look at these little coin purses. They're so soft. Oh my gosh. And they're tie dye. So they're like, they're all different colors. Like you won't find this exact one. Has a little zipper on the top. Caroline put her, I already gave Caroline one. I think I gave her this one because it was a unicorn and a cat. Um, I gave her this one already and she took, I hid Easter eggs. A long story again. I hid Easter eggs for the kids for um, Caroline and Evelyn. And some had money in them in a prize. Some had um, candy in a prize. And some just had candy. Caroline was lucky enough that she found all the ones with the money in them. Which is okay. Because Evelyn doesn't know what money is. And uh, Evelyn found all the ones with the candy in it. And that made her happy. Because, you know, chunky little Evelyn is more about the food than the money. But anyway, I gave this to Caroline. And she put her money from her Easter eggs in here. And uh, so we're going to Dollar Tree with her money. And these are so soft. So, so soft. I love the kitty cat. The kitty cat is so cute. So is the unicorn. But I prefer kitty cats to unicorns. Just my preference. Then I found this pencil sharpener. Minnie Mouse pencil sharpener. Disney brand, another name brand. So stinking cute. Love anything Disney. Love Minnie Mouse. Love Mickey Mouse. Love all Disney. So I grabbed that. And that reminds me of this. I grabbed another one of these buckets, by the way, because I found these. These are Disney collectible minifigures, and I think I got them all. I got the Dalmatian. Let's see if I can do this. I got Dumbo. I got these for Evelyn. Not that Caroline can't play with them because they'll be here, but Minnie Mouse. And I checked on the back. It does show all of the ones that they have, and I got them all. I got Mickey Mouse. But Disney brand toys. Okay, guys? So, you know, what? Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Um, the cat from the Aristocats. Isn't she cute? A little bow in her hair. Cutie patootie. I got... <clears throat> Pluto. Pluto. I got Tigger. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. Love Tigger. And Daisy Duck. Daisy Duck. What? Can you believe it? Let me look at the back here. Yeah, I did get them. Oh, no. Where's... Oh, yes, I did. I was going to say, where's Simba? There he is. Last one. And then, like I said, I picked up another one of these baskets. Love the color. Uh, yeah. So there are ten of them. There's two, four, six, eight... 10. I did get them all. I was really excited to see those. I was like fishing through them going, oh my god, please have them all. Please have them all. Then I picked up these lunchbox games. Silly games for lunchtime fun. It's a little box. And uh, if you can open it ever. Oh, it's taped. It's taped. Oh, don't be like that box. Don't be that way. Open for me. Ah, got it. Got it. Ha ha. 
So I open one was open in the store. That's why I got it. And you know, like it's got which dinosaur is different. And then it's got the little thing you can color. It's got, um, what do you call those? Uh, dot to dot. Yeah. And it's got a little smile thing on the back and they're all different. This one's got, you know, those um, things where you have to find the start and the finish. This has just got like a little thing where they can draw. There's another one of those. And this one says, you're a star. <clears throat> draw a cool design on the van. Anyway, they're all different. And I just thought they'd be fun to throw in the kids' lunchbox. Um, or even just have them, you know, do here little things. And you get 20 cards. 20 cards. That's what the back looks like. And again, that's what the front looks like. Lunchbox games. And I found these by the register in my store. Um, I also picked up this pencil sharpener. I got that for Jordan because it kind of looks sort of boyish. You know, a boy could use that. And he's really super cute. And I got the panda. I don't know where he is. I think I might have hauled him already. But this was supposed to go in uh, Jordan's Easter basket. And this was supposed to go in Caroline's Easter basket. And the other one that I got, whatever it was, a bear, I think. That was supposed to go in Madeline's Easter basket. A lot of this stuff was supposed to go in Easter baskets. But it will save for another time when grandma shows up with her bag of goodies <coughs> so I picked up another one of these notebooks I showed these oh gosh a year ago or more I, and they were very hard to find they have a little snap pocket on the front where you can put your coupons or your lists or whatever snap them up close up tight and there's your list of Things you need at the market, uh, things you got to do this week, whatever you need to put in this little notebook. It's by Jot. It's got a spiral on the side and it's got 70 sheets. I purchased this in pink and red and blue and black. And uh, I saw them again and I was like, oh, I got to get another one of those because I love, love, love them. So great little notebook with a little pocket on the front if you see these. Great little item. I also picked up this um, notepad with gel pen. The best is yet to... Oh, wow. That was really bad. The best is yet to come. And this is the same like that other notebook that I got last time. The pen does not... Oh, wow. Um, the pen does not um, attach to this. Uh, there we go. The best is yet to come. And I liked it because it's it's like blue metallic flowers on there. You can see in the writing. And it's spiral, opens from the top. It's lined. And I really liked that one. I got the other one I think says Glam Life or something on it. I got that one and I really liked it. And then I saw this one and I said, you know what? I like that one so much. I'm going to get another one. <clears throat> I'm going to get another one. So I did. And then uh, the gel pen that I told you last time writes really nice. And this is... It's giving me a hard time getting back in the box, so I am not going to, not the box, in the package, so I'm not going to do that. Then I picked up in the teaching tree section these large foil classroom decor. No, I'm not using it for a classroom. Any cute, 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 look at the foil. I got these to put in packages when I do uh, giveaways or I send friend mail. These are great because you just flip it over. And you write your note on it. There's no envelopes. There's no... It gives you a lot more writing space. And they're cute. They're cute as heck. And the person can maybe reuse it. I just love it. And there are 10 pieces in there. So I grabbed those. I found this 
Capricorn astrology book for 2021. Yes, and it uh, tells you the forecast by the months, uh, your health, your work, your money, your love. April. Here we go. Fatigue often makes you feel emotionally vulnerable. Take time for yourself or your health will decline. Exercise more and consider taking up medication or yoga. Taking up medication. Oh, meditation. Taking up medication. Taking up meditation or yoga. <laughs> yes, I'm going to start taking medication. Dancing is an activity that may suit you as it's relaxing, but also gets your heart pumping. And uh, this I like. It says love for singles and for couples. So there you go. Uh, single gals can get some stuff too and then it talks about your personality and what else does it say love health just i love um like horoscopes and they had all the different ones this one is capricorn that's me so i picked that up discover what the stars have in store for you yes what do they have in store for me? No price on this. Just It was just a little book. So found this in the book section. I picked up another one of these two pocket envelopes by Jot. It's got the pocket in the front that you can put stuff in. And then it also has the zip pocket. I think I just locked it the zip pocket on the top. I use these to keep my Dollar Tree receipts in um, and it does expand a little bit so you can put quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, but I use these to keep my Dollar Tree receipts in. So I needed a new one for this year because my other one for last year is full. I was really excited to find them. So if you ever see these, um, yeah, grab them because they're really, really hard to find. For me, anyway, in my area. I also picked up this, uh, I went ahead and picked up this little notebook, this little notepad. It's got plain paper in it. I got this for Caroline, because like when I make my notes to go to the store, what I'm gonna buy, she likes to have her little notebook. And she can draw pictures in here too, if she wants. This is by Pecan. Pecan, Dixon Ty Ticonderoga Company, the people that make number two pencils. Um, and it has 154 by six sheets. So that's a great little pad, 150 sheets. Grab that. I grabbed this journal and can you guess why? It's got a pack of stickers in the front. And then you got your um, orange lined paper. I don't know if you can see the lines on this because it's very faint, but they're orange lined because the back is orange. And this sticker does come off on the back. And then I got this one in the purple. Also with the purple lines. This is just going to come off, right? So what's on the front? Oh, the front is just plain. Once you take the stickers off, it's just plain purple notebook. And again, the sticker comes off the back. So you could decorate this yourself with stickers. You know what I'm saying? Are you hip to my jive? Yeah. I guess that's what you're supposed to do with it. Oh, you know, you don't have to knock me over the head. Then I found this um, Stop Doubting and Believe John 2027 Bible Notes in the letter K. Love that. With the flowers down here. And this is by Crown Jewels. And it does not tell you how many sheets are in this. 
And I do not believe that they are um, post-its. They're just pieces of paper, like a pad of paper. But let me know down below if I'm wrong. Found the K. <clears throat> then I picked up these prayer cards, inspirational prayer and scripture cards for yourself and others. Includes 20 cards. There were two kinds. I got this one and I got this one. And they just are prayer cards. They have, uh, can I open this without wrecking it? Can I? Can I? Can I? Just to show you a couple. I know I'm at an hour. I told you to grab something you didn't drink. There's one for you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. <clears throat> Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Each one has a different um, today's prayer. You can just keep these for yourself and shuffle them up and look at one every day and because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassions never fail just a little pick me up every day if you want to or they're nice to stick in a card in a gift just to <clears throat> let people know you know God is love and <clears throat> that's that so two sets of prayer prayer cards. They're both by Crown Jewels, and there are twenty in each box. So I grabbed those again. Prayer cards. I'll switch them around so you can see each one. Good. Okay, got those. Then I found these uh, button envelopes. Love the pattern on these. These are great for um, storing, like, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, when you buy something and you get the little book that goes with it, the manual, putting manuals in it, papers in it. Love the pattern. Love the patterns and the colors. So you get two. You get a smaller one and you get a bigger one. Um, the big one is 13.19 by 9.45. And the smaller one is 9.25 by 6.25. But love those. I guess I better speed it up. There's still a lot of stuff left here. I found this double-sided magnet. One side says clean. One side says dirty. This is great for your dishwasher. You can tell whether the stuff in it is clean or whether it's dirty. And it's a nice big magnet. They had a couple other ones, uh, pet ones, I think. And I just had no use for it. This magnet is 5x5. Five five, and it says right on it, great for the dishwasher. Yes. Yes, yes. So then I found these coasters in the spring fling section. Aren't these just the cutest? little coasters they're like made of felt and they're tied together with a ribbon there are four coasters in each one couldn't resist them so i grabbed those and they match perfectly with these plastic plates that i found love these colors i was like oh look at these um all it says is plate let's see how big they are they are seven and a half inches and they come in this color purple they come in this color and they come in this color and no oh, that's it i got two of these but wouldn't this make a cute little gift for someone just a little, hi, how are you? Or, you know, you could do both. Like, what a great little gift. 
I hope that I, at another point, picked up this color one of the coasters, because what a great gift that would be, you know? These are really thin. Not really thin. It doesn't say how many you get. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, six plates. But they're great for our, you know, plastic, plastic. So if you're, you know, having like a little tea party or having the girls over and just cutesy cutesy, you can't beat, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. For a dollar. What? And I love the shape and the design. Love them. So I grab those. I'm starting to not have any room to put this stuff. What is this? Oh, that's my Julia thing. Julia Rewards. You get a little coupon when you get your when you buy your Julia jewelry. 15% off uh, $100 and $50 off $200. Great deal. Then I picked up these by Toolbench Hardware. It's 27 pieces of felt pads. Um, I'm always replacing these on my kitchen, not my kitchen, my dining room chairs because I have hardwood floors and my son who weighs like 280 pounds doesn't know that you're supposed to lift your butt when you push your chair out. He just across the floor. So I have to keep these felt pads on there to keep him from destroying my floor. And they're always also great for underneath your furniture. I bought them for these thin strip ones because I bought this um, shelving unit from Amazon that's a corner shelf. And I think I may need these to um, put on the bottom of my shelf so it doesn't scrape up my hardwood floor out here. But you get, you know, three different size of the circle, circular ones. You get these strip ones and you get the um, big square ones that you can cut into whatever shape you want. Um, does it say? Uh, 10 of the... 0.75, 8 of the 1 inch, 4 of the 1.5, 4 0.5 by 6 inch, which must be these, and 1 of the 4.25 by 6 inch. So you only get one of the big square ones, two of these, and you know, the other amounts I said of the other ones. But I grabbed these because that's a great, like, a little collection of felt pads if you need them for different things. So, got those. I picked up another one of these Duracell uh, phone chargers. Got this for my friend Connie so she can always make sure she has a good charger to charge her phone. She can keep it in different rooms or whatever. So, I got that for her. Oh my God, I'm running out of room. All right, then I got some home stuff and then we're done. Um, I had some friend mail, but we're already over an hour. So I'm going to have to do that in a separate video. I found this decor piece, which reminded me of a church window. And it says, our family gathers here. It is plastic. Looks like this on the back. It has um, one of those little triangular hanging things. Or you could stand it up on a shelf if you wanted. Um, I just thought there were so many things you could do with this. I only picked up one. I think there was the white and I want to say gray or black. I can't remember what the other one was. But I liked the white one. And these are... Oh, da -da. These are nine inches tall. And... Six and a half inches wide. Really, really. I love it. You could do anything in the back here. You could put something on here. You could make it look like stained glass. You could do any kind of thing to, you know, jazz that up if you wanted to. But I like it a lot. And I grabbed that. Went ahead and picked that up. 
Then I got found this floating shelf. It's a wall shelf, okay? And it's got this string. Let's see if I can open this real quick. I know you guys are probably sick of listening to me, but I try to show you guys this stuff. I should have brought something. I never have what I need. Ah, got it. Got it. Got it, got it. Hang on now. Hang on now. Hang on. There's only a few more things, so just make sure you stay. Look at this shelf. How cool is that? It's got this ring on the top, and there's your shelf. You could let it be like that by itself, or you can put it against a wall. I'm trying to show you this. Isn't that the coolest thing? And this feels like, and that's particle board. I was gonna say it feels like real wood, but then I looked at the bottom and it's particle board, as you can tell. But what? Even if you didn't wanna use this as a shelf, you could just cut this juke cord off and use this piece of wood to do whatever you wanted with. Um, I was going to say let me measure it, but let me see if it says on the package. Oh, I hate when the people rattle things like that. 15.7 inches by 3.5 inches. So, <clears throat> 15 inches by 3.5. <coughs> Excuse me. I need a drink by now. My mouth is all dry, but I don't have one, so... Let's get through this. I really like that a lot. I should have probably got more than one. I picked up the uh, Sure Fresh 10 square little containers because I have a bunch of those, um, you know, those plastic containers that we got back at the school time. And these fit perfectly in there. So I grabbed another bunch of these because I have some that don't have any in them. So I got, I grabbed these. Uh, reusable, uh, and you get 10 of them. So these are always like hanging on a clip strip or something somewhere. Grab those. Then another brand name, I found this Brillo Basics Furniture Polish. They had two cents. This is fre fresh citrus. And I bought the lemon one for my friend Connie because she was saying, does Dollar Tree carry furniture polish? And I said, yes, it does. I just bought this Brillo furniture polish and the store we were in didn't have it. So when I saw it, um, I grabbed one for her and I, you know, clipped it, snapped a picture of it. And I was like, look what I found for you. And she was excited. So I can't wait to give it a try. Brillo again, brand name. And this is a nine ounce uh, can. Grab that. And Glade, another brand name by SC Johnson. Limited edition Bamboo and Bliss air freshener. Limited edition. How does this spray? I want to see how this sprays. I don't like a spray that makes a lot of noise. Oh, that one does. That one makes a lot of noise. But that's okay. That's okay. I picked up another of these extra um, color absorbers. These are great if you buy something new that is like a dark black or red or whatever. Throw these in with your clothes and it... Mm, that smells nice. I like that smell. Um, throw this in with your wash and it absorbs all that extra color so that it doesn't affect your other clothes. And this is the bonus pack. I didn't even notice that. 10 plus 2. So I, I've been getting these lately from the Dollar Tree. I like them. I use them. Give them, a, give them a try. Then I found these. I've not seen them anywhere else. Um, I found these in the Saratoga store. They are shopping cart handle wraps. So you bring this with you in the store and put it on the shopping cart and your shopping cart is clean. 
let's take a look at how bulky or how pain in the butt this is going to be. So, this is it. This is what it comes like in the box. And let's see how this works. Again, with the package, I can't open. All right. All right, so here you go. Oh, you get this little bag to carry it in. This little bag to carry your handle wrap in. And then you just wrap this around the handle of the shopping cart. How cool is that? And then you just do, 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 shop, 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 take it off. Fold it up, put it in your little baggie, and take it home and wash it or use it in the next store you go to. How cool is that? This is by Clear, and it's 15.5 inches, wraps around standard shopping cart handles. That's what that looks like. Wow. And they had it in red and black I think at the store I bought these a while ago but I did find a pink one the other day and I was going to add it to this haul and I forgot but I did find these in another store just like two days ago and I bought these like a month ago and haven't seen them anywhere since so anyway they're out there they're shopping cart handle wraps reusable neoprene it says right on here, neoprene. That's what those, that's what those, these jobbies are. Neoprene. Yup, that's, that's the, that's the material. See? See? Let me just shove this back in the box. I like that. You know what? I'm not even going to shove that back in the box. I'm going to put that right in my car. It's going to go in the garbage. I got a couple of decor pieces. This I did not get for myself, but I just, I think it was really cute. And I said, I got to get it for somebody who's a coffee drinker. But first, coffee. It's on like this little pedestal and you can just put that near your coffee bar or wherever you want as a piece of decor. I got it to give away as a gift or, you know, because I'm not a coffee drinker. I told you before, I don't like coffee, but I just thought it was super cute. So I got that, and then I got this one that says Home Sweet Home with the birdies and the flowers and the cotton and just really, really like that. These are, and it's got the little galvanized sign part on it. These are eight and a half inches uh, long and they stand five inches high. So we're nice size, nice size and very springy. So if you want to spruce up your spring decor, there you go. I like that. Then I bought, I put these in this um, vase just because I was looking for space on this table. Um, I bought this vase um, for flowers because I noticed that I didn't have this shape vase. I have some other different shapes, but I really like the standard vase shape. They have these all the time at Dollar Tree and I just picked one up. And I picked up four of these solar stakes for my outside. I had the, these are new like shape. They have like a disco globe type on the top. Do, 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 do. Um, so I got these because um, I had the like flat top, taller ones out in my front of my house but then the snow comes and my next door neighbor comes over and snow blows my driveway and my sidewalk and a bunch of them got eaten up by the snowblower so I had to replace some of them and I thought I would put like some of the one kind there and some of that kind anyway I got them I really like them this is what they look like. Replacements. Replacements. So I like those a lot. 
A uh, couple more items. I picked up this hat. It's a really nice little baseball cap. I bought it. I actually bought this twice. I bought it once. And uh, I asked my son if he liked it. And he said, yeah, I like it. I'd wear that. And he put it on. And I just loved it on him. I was like, what a great hat. It's got that like washed look. And I thought this would be great to, um, you know, wear outside mowing the lawn or doing yard work or whatever. But I just thought it was a great little cap. And it is really a lot sturdier and thicker than the usual crappy baseball caps that they sell at Dollar Tree. What really, um, they are Anvil brand. So I got another one. And it's got the um, Velcro in the back to fit whatever size head you have. So I grabbed another one for me. And uh, before, I know, I don't know if you guys remember, in the last haul, Caroline picked out her number seven birthday candle. Well, apparently I saw this number seven in the Saratoga store and I grabbed it. So now she's got two number seven candles. Uh, anyway, you can always, you know, use it for some for something somebody's going to be something seven 27 17 77 who knows i picked up another pair of these little headbands for evie i got her a set of these for home for easter but i just got these um to maybe when she's here um dress her up or take pictures or something they're just the cutest little headbands love them Got those for Evie. Uh, I've been trying to resist on the socks, but I just, the last time I was in Dollar Tree, I wouldn't even look at the socks. I'm like, I'm not even looking. I'm not looking. I don't need them. I don't. I found these Juncture brand socks. Love them. They're kind of like ribbed in the middle here. And I love the colors, the yellow and the blue. And they're the, um, you know, like, crew crew not crew uh what do they call them i don't know they just go to your ankle so i got those then i couldn't resist these shoe liners because they're just so stinking cute look at the frog and then they got the i'm saying that's a mouse that's my opinion that looks like a little mouse to me cute there's a lion. I just like to have fun socks on when the kids come because they like to look at them. And the cow. Love those. And I picked up another one of these Polaroid uh, screen protectors. These are for iPhone X or XS. But from what I understand, it fits other phones as well. If it doesn't fit my phone, I will gift it or donate it or something to somebody who has an iPhone X. I have an iPhone 11, but whatever. It's Polaroid brand. <coughs> Polaroid brand. Another brand name at Dollar Tree. Then I picked up this happy birthday banner in the party section. Look at the colors in this. Look at that. That is going to be so pretty for someone's birthday. I always stock up on birthday stuff because when you go to find something really cute like this, they don't have it. So if you have it on hand, you can just bust it out and celebrate somebody's birthday. And then I got this one that says happy birthday and it's got unicorns on it. So... You know, I had to get it. The girls love themselves some unicorns. And then I got these um, rectangular table covers. This, oh, I don't know if you're seeing this color at all, but it's like a rose gold table cover. It's rectangular. So pretty. And then this beautiful blue 
You can do so many things. You don't have to use these for table covers. You can craft with them. Just so many things you can do with these. So I was like, I love these. And I got them. And you guys, there's only one more thing left. You're probably like, hooray. I found these bandanas. Um, you get two of them. And I just thought they would be really cute to do something with, not necessarily as a bandana. I just think it's really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I mean, you could use it as a bandana. I don't think it would fit around my fat neck to wear as a scarf. No. Um, but, you know, really love the design. You could even just lay this out on a table and put some kind of you know, like a white vase, a milk vase or something, or I don't know. I just love it. Love it, love it. You could even probably sew these. It's kind of thin, but you could probably sew these two together and make a pillow out of it. Wouldn't that be pretty? Anyway, guys, that is my humongous Dollar Tree haul. I believe I showed you everything. Usually I will find something at the end and I'll be like, Dang it, I forgot to show that. I got the stuff off the floor. I told you about the jewelry, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah, I'm so impressed with this um, ring. Really love it a lot. Again, if, if, you, if you guys can see that, I don't know whether um, it's getting blurry or what. Love it. Love the one next to it, too. And um, yeah, that's my Dollar Tree haul. They're not that often, but they're big. So, um, yeah, guys, if you, uh, oh, look at this one's different. Oh, I didn't realize that. They're different. I just pulled that out of the uh, paper thing. They're, that one looks like that. And then this one looks like this. Very, very pretty. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize love it all right guys i'm gonna let you go i gotta go to bed it's 10 after 11 i got work tomorrow and tomorrow night is my dollar tree night so i will work and see what other new goodies i can find for you guys um hope you all are staying well i got my second uh vaccination on when did i get it was it saint patrick's day I think it was. Anyway, I got my second vaccination. The only side effect I had was I was extremely tired when I got home. I slept for like three hours. My arm didn't even hurt as much as it did the first time I got my shot, my for my first shot. Um, nothing. No side effects. I got the Pfizer one. So um, if you haven't gotten vaccinated, please consider it. Um... Let's get rid of this COVID and be back to normal. Love you guys. I have missed you all. And uh, I hope you stuck around till the end. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye, guys.